Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to do something pretty different than what we were up to yesterday with the um, carp tutorial. Today I'm simply trying to level up spin fishing. So I want to kind of see how this goes. We are in happy hour as you'll see when I catch this fish. And um, so the theory here is that trolling is a pretty good way to level up spin fishing especially if you utilize your happy hour. Um, but I'm at 83.5%. And so let's see if we get, that looks like a pretty decent fish there. Let's see if we get any points during our happy hour. Uh, yep, 83.5 on spin fishing. Of course, the goal is to at least get to 90 at some point so we can try the uh, jerkbait rig. So I thought we would uh, make a video of it and see how it goes. Um, probably, depending on whether or not Cory or Volkov is the most active place to troll, that might be your best bet. I suppose you could cheese it a little bit and do like hunter lures or stuff that's gonna have a really high bite rate. Um, I am... Wait, what? Uh. I get it. Uh, I am using the Snatcher S009, uh, actually on both, and we may switch one of them to a Terminator or to one of the other Snatchers, but those just seem to be, in general, pretty decent chance of catching some nice um, Atlantic Salmon and Xander in particular, although I've seen a few Asp as well. And so we also have our Ultralight Rod out, because again, there is, a, to a degree, we're just trying to catch, you know, lots of fish. So my hope is that in, in one happy hour or till about 11 p.m. in game, we can get somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 fish. It just depends on how active it is, but uh, that should give us quite a few chances to at least get a couple of points here and there. At least that's the hope. Uh, I guess we should do some sort of um, a bottle of kvass to, uh, have some good luck here right so let's see how this goes I'm gonna I've started off sort of going from the dock towards the eight meter hole I've actually had a lot of Xander and salmon in this little in this little path here I've really liked that a lot but then this down here has also been good for me lately so I want to go down to there and test that as well and uh, we'll just troll all the way down there unless we Unless it seems like we're not getting any bites in this little inner, inner blue area. So we have an Aquila on our ultralight. Little, uh, what is it, 3 gram, 4 gram Aquila. So far it's doing pretty well. If it stays sunny, we might stay with this one. If the weather changes a little bit, we might go to the blue one or one of the other ones. So there might be lures you could use that might give you a little faster bite rate, which I guess would be ideal. But I'm kind of mixing this with still wanting to catch some, some decent fish here and there if possible. The uh, left line, li uh, line over here, our number one rod is much stronger than our steel hood, steelhead. This is like a 17 kilo fluoro. I think the other one's like 27 kilo fluoro. So especially this one that we have in our hands right now, potentially could get um, snapped through with pike, but it's just kind of a chance I'm taking here. I have noticed that the bite rate has seemed pretty slow on this one. And I don't know if that is because of I mean, we're still catching some fish on it. I'm not going to worry about it, but again, I don't know if the goal is to level up and the goal is probably have as high a bite rate as possible. There's probably some things we could change to try to achieve that. I 
And we do have a second steelhead if we just want to simply go back to that. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Nice pike. That is one concession that I might be willing to make here. Let's do that. Alright, so we need to take this off. Oops. And let's see, we've got the model one, so we need the super duty. Oh, I don't have this put together at all. Um, okay, so we're going we're gonna go seventeen, right? Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. And let's put that right back on. Hopefully this will help a little bit. The name of the game right now is just having at least somewhat a decent bite rate. Unfortunately, if we hook into some decent fish, we're going to be chasing them a little while, but I guess that's okay. It's an okay price to pay for catching some de decent fish. Let's make sure neither one of these lines get snagged as we're going under the pier. I think we're good. Okay. We want to just sort of make a make a route around this six five hole. If if we're not getting some some action here, then we'll we'll head on to other territory, but a little earlier I was down here and it seemed okay. Doesn't seem great at the moment, does it? Cast. Let's go with one, maybe one or the three. All right, come on, give us a point. No point. It's picking up. Although I still don't think we've had any, still 83.5. It seems like we're on the fish here. Someone was saying earlier in game chat that um, 
Volkov is infested with pike, and that is just absolutely true right now. The places that you normally don't catch a lot of pike just have pike everywhere right now. So we're definitely running a risk, but the fishing overall has been good. Um, I made a lot of silver trolling here for a couple days, and um, so, so far it's been well worth the risk. I mean, we could buy several of the lures that we'd be replacing and leaders. Oh, look at that catfish. Oh, that's a blast from the past here. It's been a while since I hooked into a catfish at Volkov. This isn't the exact spot, but we used to just sit out here, cast towards the moonshine trailer, and uh, we'd catch just Atlantic salmon and Xander all day long. Anchor down and just fish. It was amazing. We want to go ahead and start turning here. Still pike and still no points. All right, let's see. I'm going to go a little bit up here before taking a right. Let's actually make a loop of it. This seems like this has been a little better bite rate. We've also got these over cloud, uh, overcast clouds in now, which should be good for us. This is a total pike farm right now. So the question is now becoming, will we even get 0.1 points during happy hour? I think I went from 83.3 to 83.5 in about two days trolling out here. But I was thinking that during happy hour, we would, uh, you know, catch a break. And I was really hoping we might get up to like 84% you know, get 0.5%, but that is not looking likely unless we just have hit, hit an unlucky stretch and are about to start getting luckier. And we'll go till about 11 p.m. This will, then we'll have to see how we did. Silver wise, we're doing okay, I guess. The other thing that was nice is that there's been a couple of real easy Xander and Pike orders. So definitely got some extra money that way. So used to clicking it and then getting it out there again that I'm afraid I'm not going to even notice when we hit the point if we hit the point. I'm thinking we're going to hit a, a, a little uh, area where we'll start getting salmon and Xander. At least I feel like I usually do out here, but so far we are only catching pike. Let's see, where are we? Maybe it'll improve as the day goes on. I don't really know for sure what time of day I was out here, but it was actually pretty decent uh, percentage of salmon and Xander. Not right now. Not right now.
and I do get sick of trolling so if I'm gonna really try to do this intent like use happy hour to do this to try to give leveling up spin fishing a chance I'll probably have to mix in some quarry trolling I guess if anybody just knows of any amazing bite rate spots for spin fishing I could try to anchor down or even be on shore and just try to get them that way but it's always felt to me like the points come a little quicker when you're trolling that bite was a fake one okay whoa Set a, uh, it's early in the week. We might set an ultra ultralight record here. Get another little weekly. I think we've got three spots on the ultralight weeklies already today. Goodness. The bad thing is that I have like no spool room on this ultralight. If this is a real fish, I am in deep trouble. We want to just try to keep circling it keep our spool from getting in jeopardy. There's a real risk, real danger in doing this. Yeah, that'll be a weekly on ultralight. Still didn't get a point though. Weekly record UL Atlantic Salmon. So we did finally find the salmon. Maybe they're, I don't know, it could have been time of day or maybe they're a little higher up here. I think it's been good enough bite rate down here, even though it's a lot of pike. I'm just going to circle back and we'll stay down here for at least one more loop, maybe longer. Trying to make sure we didn't sneak in a point. Does that line have a fish on it? are funny you guys are so funny doesn't that look like there's a fish on but I think it's just from when I turn the boat using the UL right now. Uh. 
<laughs> yeah, what will our next leveling guide series be? I don't know. It'll probably be a little while, though. I did two in a row. Probably need to let it breathe. Let some new players come in before we... Before we start again. There are a few people who are wanting to see a... Uh, load only I don't know if I can do that or not whoa all right so go ahead and um, go ahead and start turning even before you have the fish just to just in case this is like you know a 20 kilo Atlantic salmon which it's not it's it's nothing, but just you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready for it. And we're really lucky we didn't have that lure bit through, to be honest. You know, I guess um, if it's really active, I guess Belaya with Ultralight might not be a bad place to level up spinning. I mean, sometimes the catch rate there is pretty dang good. Uh, and you could also have feeders in at the same time, you know, or at least at night, maybe go for burbot or something. That could be another way to try to level up spin fishing. I, I don't know. The the key at, at, uh, at Cory is also an option. Again, like feeder fishing for char and spin fishing off the key. Um, but probably trolling quarry makes more sense in terms of like the volume fishing we need to do to level up. We're gonna work on the unluckiest happy hour in the history of RF4 here, I think. Still 83.5. I mean, we are catching a lot of fish. We're already at 30. And it's like 1.30 in the afternoon. I, I mean, the, the number of fish is as good as I could have possibly expected. There we go. And we got 0.2 as well. That's what I'm talking about. 83.7. So we seem to get lucky a couple more times. And all of a sudden, this whole happy hour will be redeemed. Redemption is good. I have not seen a lot of perch. I did catch a trophy perch earlier, but it was over by the dock. By the way, if you want to catch less pike, I did catch a lot less of them. Still some. There's a Xander. They were here so much more earlier. Wait, so we're supposed to be at 83.7? Yep, okay. Um, if you want to catch less pike, just go from the dock to here and kind of circle the eight meter hole and back and forth. That seemed like a fairly pike free experience. But I think at least right now, this might be a little more active. I don't know, we could go over there and try that again. I might be willing to do that. I'm not afraid of mixing it up. Even if it does slow us down a little bit on total number of fish. It's not a pike. How are we not catching that fish? Okay, 
we're gonna have to turn around for this one. I might should turn the trolling motor off though. Sneaky chub. Wait a minute, what am I doing? going to keep trolling for right now because this spot has been pretty decent all the way up to the pier. Once we get past the pier, I think we'll speed it up a little bit until we get uh, closer to the 8 meter hole. It's getting a little later in the afternoon. There's a fish. It's kind of nice to not have to worry about like, oh, is the fish a marker or not? <laughs> I mean, it's nice to catch markers, but right now we just want to catch fish. skirt the edge of the eight meter hole here and then we'll kind of rotate around go towards the dock and probably come back see where we are on the time of day by then Four fish. This has been a uh, definite success in terms of volume. Is that an asp? That's a really nice asp. It's like what four, four and a half kilo or so. Nice. That is a pretty fish. Figure that was just going to be like a normal uh, salmon.
Need to hit it big soon if we're going to get any more points. Baby asp. Where are we? Probably ought to start turning a little bit. I haven't even tried going like up into here. It might be good up there too. I just, it's been pretty decent down lower, so I haven't migrated up there a whole lot yet today. Come on. Pretty much just want to head kind of straight towards the dock, or a little to the right of the dock, but pretty much straight towards the dock from here. I was just seeing a lot of um, Xander salmon and some asp in this area earlier. We're kind of getting back into ideal fishing time here. Hopefully the bite rate will stay with us till 11 p.m. Come on. Come on, somebody give us a point here. Tough leveling when you get up into your 80% and higher. I think if we stop trolling, we'll be able to pull this in. It's just like we've got the fish and the trolling working against us. Look at that little chub. It's a cute fella. Come on. Point. Wait. Can't cast that out there yet. Whoa. 
Oh yeah, maybe a little perchier over here too, which is fine. We'll take anything. At this point in the day, we just want to catch some fish and try to get that, try to find that one more point one in skill up. That's a nice one. Whew. Beautiful fish. That pretty much makes the whole day worth it catching two four plus kilo asps. Go right over this three meter hole towards the dock. And let's see, it's 1915. We'll just turn around and do it again. 411. We'll go all the way till 2300, and then at that point, it's probably not worth it. I want to get back on the path here. Okay. Not much time left. Too bad I can't put bells on the top of these spinning rigs so I'll actually know when there's a fish on. I guess the boat would probably set the bells off a lot, but. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? We're going to recast this one. I had already done a short cast and then I picked up the wrong one and started reeling it in farther. Come on, right here. Let's call our shot on a perch. Boom. I think this proves that you can't, uh, the best way to level up your skills is to not think about leveling up your skills. Just go fish and don't worry about it. And then just like every little while, check and see if you've happened to gotten any points. But I really had high hopes for uh, happy hours, just not, not produced like I'd hope it would. It was so like relatively painless for me to get to 100% in bottom fishing, but I think that's just because that's what I have the most fun doing and I was just doing it all the time. And plus that was pre, I mean, that was several updates ago. So things worked a little different for most of that process. Now with bottom fishing, like the goal is PVA. So everybody's like counting their percentages to get there. Back when I was working most of the time getting there, it wasn't even there wasn't really anything I was trying to... I remember when I unlocked uh, using live bait, 
was kind of excited to try that. I liked catching burbot in the, back in the day, and that seemed like a way to, another way to target them, but just, you know, there were a lot less rigs and stuff, so you, there just wasn't quite as much that you were trying to unlock. All right, we've got two in-game hours. We're off course a little bit. Let's, let's veer this way. We're not gonna do the full loop again. Just kind of come up here, turn around, and head back towards the dock. Might only catch a couple more fish here. I mean, we're at 64 fish. This is a great day for trolling in terms of volume. I'm not talking about quality of fish. We're not going to make a killing on silver. But volume, having those chances to level up, it was a great day. Boom, 83.8. Now we are one lucky fish away from hitting 84%. But that's asking way too much. We leveled up on two fish, got a total of 0.3. That's probably a reasonable happy hour at this level. Seriously? I don't know. Do y'all think the uh, bite rate was better out there with the pike over at Moonshine area? It might have been, although this hasn't been terrible over here. Might get one more fish before 11, I don't know. Predator fish kind of stop biting at this point. heck of a lucky fish. It's a Xander. It's a marker. Uh-oh. It's happening. Did the server just come down? Ooh, thank goodness. Alright, that was not a lucky fish. Something is going on with Steam today, though. Um, I don't know what, but... 
I mean, I'm not on the S Steam server or anything. I'm just saying in general, Steam has been acting really weird. Perch. Come on, Perch. Perch did not come through for us. Ah, I'm not going to throw a heavy lure out there. Ooh, dang. We caught another fish. Wow. What do you think that is? We definitely want to get this one in the water because we may catch a fish just while we're running this one down. Oh, yeah. This is a nice fish. Here after 11 p.m. Should be able to see it right here. Uh, it's a catfish. Uh, it's a catfish. Oh, a 10 kilo catfish. It's probably all we're going to catch at this point. And we probably won't catch many of those. What is this going to be? Hmm. Oh, another fish is on. Alright, last chance. Last chance to go overboard and get some extra... Extra... Nope. That's interesting though, we're... Wow, what's this going to be? So Xander, you know Xander do uh, bite pretty well at night. Let me try that one more time. Especially sort of like in the first few hours. I mean, they can bite all night long, but it's got to be a pretty hot Xander spot to consistently get them. This is a good way to get hit, hooked into a catfish, by the way. I don't recommend this. Outside of the boat. We should just stand in the back of the boat. That way we'd at least have the option of chasing it if we had to. Yeah, 
You also could hook into a burbot though, which would be much more fun. It's right about here last time that we got him. Last one? Nope. Okay. So we started at 83.5, we end at 83.8. Got 0.3% in one happy hour. It's about what I was, that's like on the lower end of what I was expecting. Yeah, Pike and, Z and Xander order. Oh, Trophy Asp. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 611 silver. Good grief. Let's we'll see if we actually made any silver. Not bad. Not bad at all. Considering we were down at zero silver last night, this has been a pretty good trolling day. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. You know, it's, it's not bad. You just got to do what you got to do. Grind it out. Grind it out. Okay, I will see you next time.